Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new video series on the channel and it's DaVinci Resolve Quick Tips. I figured that not everyone out there wants to sit through a 10, 20, 30 minute long video to learn about DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna be compiling some really quick tips. We're talking two, three minutes tops in this playlist covering some of the most commonly asked questions and maybe some not so common questions, but really straight to the point videos. So you don't have to worry about skipping forward and all that. Very easy to follow along. So with that out of the way, let's jump through to the first quick tip for DaVinci Resolve. Welcome to DaVinci Resolve quick tips number one. In this video, we're gonna go through how to install and use LUTs inside of DaVinci Resolve. So step number one is you're gonna to wanna to head over to the color tab and make sure that you open your LUTs tab in the top left corner. With that open, right click on the LUTs folder and go reveal in Finder or it's gonna do the similar thing for Windows. What this is going to do is show us where this folder is located in our directory. And now it's really quite simple. If I minimize this, I have a LUT folder, 35 free LUTs that I've downloaded on the internet. Let's just call these cinema LUTs. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is drag that folder into this location that was opened by DaVinci Resolve. And now we can close that. Going back to DaVinci Resolve, you can see nothing has changed, but if we right click and go refresh, it'll take a little bit. And now you can see Cinema LUT has loaded and all you have to do is select a LUT and click and drag it onto the node. And there you go, we have our LUT applied to the footage, nice and simple.